our desire to eat something as delicious as a cream tea and why we crave it over and over again has been mapped in the brain. Now I'm getting sensory overload. It releases a whole host of flavors in my mouth. There's also loads of things kicking off in my brain. And I'll show you here just what's going on. What's happened is the pleasure I get from cream teas it has activated an area here. Because just like with Kymac, it all begins in the amygdala, the area in our brain which is the core of our emotional response to food. It in turn triggers the reward pathway, part of which is called the nucleus accumbens. This is where desire forms. I like it, I want it, I want more of it. The desire center creates the motivation to eat again by activating two other parts of the reward pathway. This area here is where memories are laid down. It's called the hippocampus. Memories are building up from this occasion, being here in a nice tea shop on a sunny day in London. Our brain creates a strong memory of the pleasure of eating a delicious treat, so we'll remember it in the future and want it again. This area of the brain is different. It's more complex. It's the frontal lobe. This area controls our behaviors and planning. When the desire center signals to this region, it's reinforcing the sequence of behaviors, the exact procedure, required to get a hold of a delicious treat. Should we see any one of these things again, we'll be reminded of how much we enjoyed that delicious treat, and we'll know exactly what we need to do to get one again. It's our brain's way of motivating us, ensuring that the pleasures we experience in the present are repeated in the future. <laughs>